Hi everyone and welcome back to Granny's channel. I'm going to have the very delicious, the famous Korean mozzarella corn dogs. Welcome. And um, these corn dogs come in a package of, come in a pack of five. And they're very small compared to the ones you can get at the, at the rest or the fast food, the shops, the corn dog shops. And um, this is half cheese, half mozzarella cheese, and half rice cake corn dog, okay? Okay. So I have here three, and they're small, so I think I can eat three. And to make this meal a little healthier, I have Korean peppers. And for the color I brought, these are big raspberries. Raspberries and Korean cucumbers, okay? And my dipping sauce is the, the spicy Korean red pepper paste. I, I, I added uh, stevia, vinegar, sesame oil, sesame seeds. And that makes it, that makes it sweet and tart, okay? It's really good. So, oh, and also I have a coffee drink. I also got this at the Korean market. This is Kanta Kantabil Kantabile Kantabile Hazelnut Coffee. I have my little mug here. Let me pour the coffee, okay? Let's pour the coffee. Thank you guys for coming. It's black coffee. Is it sweetened? Okay, I don't really drink black coffee. Let me see if it's sweetened. Okay, it's sweet, so that'll do. It tastes like hazelnut. And also I have here, I'm gonna hurry up into my thumbnail before everything cools down. I have a Korean melon. I like cantaloupe, I love the honeydew, but the Korean melon, it's a whole, it's a whole different, it's a whole different kind of melon, okay? It is so good. So let me do my thumb, let me pray, because I need to bite into my corn dog here. I've never added, um, I've never put ketchup or mustard on my corn dogs, I would just eat them straight, or with sugar, I forgot sugar, I'm gonna go bring some sugar. But let me try it this way because I see many people eat it this way. I want to see how good that is, okay? So let me say a prayer and I'll take a bite and then I'll bring the sugar. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for everyone here. Father God, we thank you. There's, there's nothing else that I can say but to say thank you for your love and your mercy and your grace. Thank you for your gift of salvation to us, Father God. We are not worthy, but Father, you make us worthy. And you gave your only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins, that whoever calls on his name and accept his, him into their hearts, that they're all saved, that we are all saved. Father God, we thank you for that love and mercy, that sacrificial love that you have given us. Father God, help us to remember that. Help us to cherish the gift that you have given us freely. Help us to honor you and to love you by loving you and loving others and serving you and serving others. We thank you for this meal, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. And may you all be blessed today, okay? First bite. It's just as good. The mustard and the ketchup makes it really good. Did I show you this already? Okay. This was on sale. Normally they're like eight, nine dollars for five corn dogs. I got this at the Korean market on sale for four ninety nine. That's a good deal. Okay, that was really good. 
it's only half cheese so the other half right here and it's pretty small it's um, rice cakes look at that mozzarella I was going to eat nuclear fire noodles with the corn dog, but it's just, I don't want to just ingest all bad food, you know, because I, I want to promote health. Mmm, so good. You know what, I'm not going to even bring sugar because the batter is kind of sweet already and I don't want to add any more sugar to my corn dogs. Maybe I'll dip it in the hot sauce. I hope the peppers aren't um, spicy. Sometimes they're really spicy. Nah. Rice. Sugar. You know what I'm thinking? Tteokbokki. This is tteokbokki right here. You know the spicy rice cakes? It's basically the same sauce. Just water it down a little. Number two, without any sauce or anything.
ketchup and mustard actually makes it taste pretty good. These are 230 calories each. Mm. I'm ingesting close to 700 calories just on the corn dogs. But the veggies and the fruit, which is not that much. I wonder how many calories this melon is. I'm going to just eat this like an apple because I love to do that. So I know that the veggies are zero calories. The red pepper paste, I put stevia, so there's no calories in the sweetness. So very low calorie. You could make this a dressing. Water it down, add water, add a little more vinegar, and make it very watery and use it as salad dressing. I guess black coffee is pretty good as long as it's sweetened. I usually drink lattes with milk. Here. It's a little spicy, but it's got nothing on this granny. how red that is. It's pretty spicy. Did you bring some food? When you come to watch this channel, this granny, go bring some food. And especially you kids. I know you don't like veggies. Some of you don't even like fruit, but at every meal, try to include fruits and veggies, okay? You have to keep your bodies healthy. Go outside and play. Stop playing too much games. Mm. What's a serving size? 230 calories for one. But one is so small, you'll have to at least eat two. But I'm going to indulge. This is my first meal. <clears throat> I'm doing the inter intermittent fasting. So I think seven, 800 calories for this meal is good. And then I'm just going to eat one more meal in the evening. But I'll be going to the gym for about a few hours. So I'm okay. Health comes first, okay? Mukbang channels and ASMR eating channels, we're getting a bad rap because a lot of the bigger channels, they eat a lot of food. Not all of us eat a lot of food, okay? I had someone comment on my Vietnamese spring roll spring roll shorts 
And in that whole video, I'm only eating two whole spring rolls and it's nothing but vegetables and shrimp, right? It's a low calorie, healthy diet. And I only ate two rolls. But this person commented, you're a glutton. Oh, or something like, um, that's gluttony. That's a sin. I only ate two spring rolls. People, they just assume just because you're an eating channel that you gorge on food and you overeat and you waste food. I don't. And I commented back. I said, go check out my videos. Don't make comments without knowledge. <laughs> or something like that. I had, oh, I forgot her name, but you know, uh, Carrie, Katie, you know that news anchor woman? Oh, I forgot her name, Carrie, Cur, Curry, Carrie, Katie, you know the famous, the very famous, well her daughter interviewed me on Instagram because I think she thought I was one of those big, you know, massive food eating channels. You know, like, um, as if I had an eating disorder. She interviewed me, and um, Katie Couric's daughter, I forgot her name. Oh, I should have looked it up. I wasn't planning on t telling you guys this. But she interviewed me, and I'm not one of those big channels. I don't have an eating disorder. I eat healthy most of the time, and I exercise a lot. So I did let her know that I'm just a normal human being that eats a normal amount of food and that takes care of myself, my body. Big raspberries. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> I could eat this, but I'm not going to. My videos are getting too long, and if I eat this and then eat this, it'll be what, 40 minutes long. So let me bite into my melon. This is a Korean melon. <clears throat> These are so good. And normally you're supposed to slice them, long segments, and um, you could eat the seeds. The seeds are very small and very sweet. But there are people that don't like the seeds. They'll take that out and have long wedges. Or you could cut them this way and eat them in like a circular shape, okay? But me, I would like to just eat whole fruit. So here we go.
these seeds are so sweet. They're tiny seeds. These are edible seeds. And no, you will not grow melons inside you. I love eating healthy. How many calories is this? Does it say it's in Korean? How many calories? I'm sure this is sugar full though. I would normally use stevia for my coffee or uh, sugar-free creamers. But I'll just indulge in. They have coffee pouches at the Korean market. I think I'm done. What? You want me to finish the peppers? Okay. Peppers have a lot of vitamin C, okay? It's good for you. I've noticed that in my algorithm, that the analytics, do you guys understand all that? Anyway, I'm noticing that most of my viewers are the younger generation. In the way beginning, I used to have a lot of people that were in their 40s watching my channel. But now, the biggest group that watches this granny, uh, they're the age range 23 to 34. And right, right after them, about maybe a 1 or 2% difference, I think over 53% 50 of the viewers are in their... 20 early 20s to early 30s and the second group with 40 something percent 40 48 percent i think or is that what was that over 100 <laughs> um 45 or 43 anyway very close um they are the 18 through 22 or 23 age range and there aren't any older seniors that really watch this granny. Maybe I'm too immature for them. You ask me how I keep young? I hang out with young kids. I have fun. I enjoy my life. I, I act silly. That's the secret of this granny's youth, okay? You're never too young. You're never too old. Oh. 
<sighs> that one's spicy. Get in all your veggies, okay? These are so big. Have you seen raspberries this big? Look. <laughs> Kids, look. It's like that creature on Gola Gola Island. Do you guys remember that show? I think it had olives on the fingertips. <gasps> Eat your fruits and veggies. Kind of sour. Hmm. Oh, funny. Oh. Kids, ask your mom or dad or the grown up that's serving you food. Please put some veggies and fruits on my plate, okay? It'll keep you healthy. Thank you guys for sticking around. These corn dogs are good. Eat in moderation and eat fruits and veggies at every meal, okay? That's my advice to you today to, uh, to live a healthy, happy life, okay? And remember to subscribe to Jesus, okay? You will find joy. Thank you. May God bless you and we will see you in the next video. Peace out.